everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video, we are de determining uh, whether the PCIe link actually uh, hurts graphics card performance. So today I've got my desktop ready. Uh, currently, I've got my Radeon 6970 graphics card in it, in the top PCI, so it's a PCI time 16. And we're running a few games on it first, so I'm going to put this to DirectX 11. Uh, single monitor, anti sync times 8. And yeah, at ultra settings and full screen. So hit run. So basically, in this video, we want to determine whether PCI times eight, PCI times four, or anything else will, will or anything else will hurt performance. Uh, my God, it's just lagging crazily. There we go. So currently, it's idling at 30 FPS. Now it's going up to 45, around 50ish. I'm just gonna hit the benchmark button. Okay guys, so it averaged at 33 FPS, uh, minimum FPS was 13.3 and max was 60.4, not bad, and the score is 1390, and it's 8x anti aliasing 1680 by 1050 still waiting on a 1080p, disp 1080p display, I've got my 720p display over here, but anyways guys, yes, yeah, so I'm going to swap the graphics card slots now. Nothing gets changed around from what was. It goes in there. Yeah, right, yeah, should go. One. And that goes in there. And I'm just switch on. So I'm gonna hit the power button. Car boots up fine. Everybody, so after editing this video and getting up to this stage, for some reason in Premiere the audio for this part of the video is corrupt, so I'm recording it now. So the original score was 1350, I mean the original score was 1390, and now the score is 1350. Um, so that is like a two or three percent decrease in performance, uh, and the frame rate was a lot different. The frame rate was 62 for some reason, uh, but the minimum frame rate went down all the way. So the minimum frame rate was 13 before and now it's 5.4 FPS so and the average frame rate was 33 and now it's 32 uh, so I definitely recommend if you have if you have the the capability of using a PCI times 16 or times 8 and you want to choose between which one for which graphics card I definitely suggest you should put the times six the 
graphics card and times 16 if it's a high performance one. If it's a pretty crappy one, you bought for 5 bucks or just a one for a display output, doesn't really matter then if you're not playing games or anything. Anyways, guys, never subscribe and peace. Bye.